afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me once again. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. We know there's been an uptick in sightings of meteorites, and there was even a report of one meteorite hitting a woman's car there in the UK. I thought it was interesting how this was phrased from the Virginia Pilot News website. It said that NASA feels a sense of urgency to get to Mars. Makes you wonder what the urgency is from. Recently, last night, there was over 58 reports of a fireball seen over uh, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Michigan, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Virginia, and West Virginia. 58 reports. There was even a video posted that was shared. This comes from Greenboro, uh, North Carolina. I am a retired military trained to detail and note what I observed and realized that the fireball was probably very high in the atmosphere. We had just passed under the Wiley Lewis Road Bridge that crosses 421 about 11 seconds prior to seeing the fireball. I was traveling in the northbound set of lanes at approximately 70 miles an hour. He shared a video and says that he removed the audio as it only indicates surprise from my wife seeing the fireball and some language. I can't provide the full video. Uh, this was caught at um, 1080p resolution from my dash cam. So here's the video. I'll play it for you. It comes in very fast and breaks up. He said that the color was white to green, blue to white. Here's an example of the different colors of asteroids or meteorites, shooting stars you might see, and what it represents for what it could be made out of. So more than likely, this one that he saw and the other people saw were made from magnesium because it's kind of a blue and white. There's also sodium, calcium, iron, which would be yellow, and then nitrogen oxygen, which would be um, a red color. A report from Salem, Virginia said that it only lasted about a second and the color was blue and dark green. They didn't observe any sound. They said during the second flash it disappeared. Now two people said they did hear the sound of it possibly breaking up in the Earth's atmosphere. Um, it says, sorry if my wording is a bit off, but I, just that I was so excited I finally got to see one with my naked eye rather than my telescope. And this came from Virginia. Said the color was light blue and light green. Made a muffle blowing its stack. It blew up and disappeared then, and I heard the noise less than a second later. So maybe some of the debris fell somewhere because this report from Lynch, Lynchburg, Virginia. Deborah said that she was talking on her cell looking towards the dark sky. And to my amazement and wonder, the orange yellowish ball streaked across the sky over the neighbor's house, across the street. And in two to three seconds, it was gone as if it landed in the neighbor's backyard. It wasn't far up. I guess that's why it appeared larger to my eyes. Now she said the color was orange. Now we were all taught that the age of the dinosaurs ended because of a giant asteroid that impacted the Earth. But a recent paper published in Science Advance says that the meteorite plummeting to the Earth is only part of the story. They suggest that climate change triggered by a massive volcanic eruption may have ultimately set the stage for the dinosaur's extinction, challenging the traditional narrative that a meteorite alone delivered the final blow to the ancient giants. In the report, the scientists estimated how much sulfur and fluorine was injected into the atmosphere by a massive volcanic eruption 200,000 years before the dinosaurs became extinct. Remarkably, they found that the sulfur release could have triggered a global drop in temperatures around the world, a phenomenon known as volcanic winter. Their research demonstrated climate conditions 
were almost certainly unstable with repeated volcanic wimmer winters that could have lasted decades prior to the extinction of the dinosaurs. This instability would have made life difficult for all plants and animals here on Earth and set the stage for the dinosaur extinction event. It was caused by um, a volcanic field there in India, and I've talked about that before. So we know that our current climate is very unstable. Lots of earth changes going on. You can see here at Old Faithful, look at the dark steam that's currently coming up. Yeah, which is an indication that it's heating up and bringing up the um, melted rock with the uh, the water, the steam. Something else to think about if we did have another large volcanic eruption is the disruption of our power. Uh, we are a country, a world that so depends on the um, infrastructure retaining power to our water, our sewer, our hospitals, our lights, our heat, our air conditioning, things like that, cooking, um, keeping the factories running. So if there was another large volcanic eruption, yeah, it would probably disrupt um, our power for at least two years, seeing how it takes at least 18 months to make uh, a new transformer. Um, to send the power through the high tension lines. Yeah, 18 months to make one. And they're not made here. They're made in Germany and South Korea, I believe. But if there was another event similar, would we also have the effects of what happened to the dinosaur and this time it would be humans? I don't know. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, be safe, be prepared, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.